Cinderella in Middle Age by Joe Weil In middle age, at the midpoint of life's journey, Cinderella finally gets the decoder ring two-thirds of the way through her daughter's Cracker Jacks box and thereby enters the dark wood of her bliss. Ah, to steal your child's prize, especially since the kid will never know, is a joy certainly of a different order, yet no less poignant than that long-ago perfect fit. Her stepsisters have become presidents of the Victims of Cautionary Tale support group. Her stepmother is dying slowly of emphysema. Her prince wants her to call him dirty names in German, to smack his ass with a writer's crop. No one ever informed her that success has a different, yet no less powerful aftertaste. Boredom. Boredom in the spiked domination collar, in the 400 shopping sprees. In the middle of the afternoon, on the midpoint of life's journey, between all my children and general hospital, in that terrible lull that is one life to live, she takes out her silver ruby encrusted flask. Ah. The whiskey still burns, like poverty, like hope. The line between humility and humiliation is not so finely drawn. She has returned to school for an MFA and is in love with her workshop leader's ears. Meanwhile, she does the best she can with happily ever after, knowing full well that whatever it is, it will never be enough.